Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for Wednesday, October 17th, 2018. Alright, so today we have the moon shifting into Capricorn, a bit of a shift of energy going more into the Earth energy that we've had collectively for about a month plus now. So uh, the theme today, likely about taking care of responsibilities, um, things that do require a bit of patience or discipline, it could be the theme, and we could just be feeling this way, maybe a bit reserved with the moon here. So no major aspects today, but we do have a partial T-square with the moon. Uh, the moon will be squaring up to Uranus and Venus. So maybe wanting to break free in some way, maybe feeling a bit reserved with this Earth en energy. Um, so doing that uh, constructively. And uh, also maybe some extra attention on relating and relationships could be a great way of working with this as well. All right, so let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here's the sky for this Wednesday. Again, we are using what's called True Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, check out the link down below for more information because it does change the signs from mainstream astrology. All right, so the uh, moon um, shifting into Capricorn today, maybe give it some time, but as the day unfolds, certainly more of this earthy energy. Um, we still have a lot of it. Mars is, of course, still here. Um, the sun, Mercury, and Venus are still in Virgo. So taking a step back for a second, uh, doing a quick recap, you know, um, this whole lunar cycle started in Virgo. And so as a larger backdrop, you know, this time period really is about self-improvement and development and seeing how we can improve, how our lives can improve, what can be fixed, what can be embedded, right? And what does require a bit of the self-discipline to make that stuff happen. And also what are some healthy habits that we can develop to also facilitate some of this improvement oriented energy. So that's really the focus and we do gain energy when we are focused on life in this way um, with the sun here. Now we are still in the first quarter phase of the lunar cycle so um, it's still an excellent part of the week to challenge ourselves towards anything that did surface about a week ago or since a week ago and maybe even new insights and things like this. This is the first challenge of the lunar month, but when we challenge ourselves, then we sort of get on the right side of the transit. And in this case, uh, can be very constructive when we are setting intentions towards initiating or building or concretizing or taking action towards any new insights or beginnings that have shaped up over about a week ago. All right, so the theme today, though, is shifting into more Earth with the Moon and Capricorn. So the theme likely today around taking care of responsibilities. An excellent day for this, however we might go about that. Could be with our work, could be with routine, family, relationships, whatever the area is. Responsibility is great at this time. And this is likely because we are feeling a bit reserved. And so this reserved energy can be facilitated. And this is about essentially this emotional mastery of being aware of our feelings and not getting too caught up into them, observing them and listening to them. Um, but from there, having that bit of space, which does require, which does allow us to do things that, you know, maybe we won't feel like, but it, you know, it's more responsible or requires discipline, things like this. Um, so great with this. And Capricorn really is about, you know, seeing the long road the long-term perspective, and so a good day for having that patience and discipline as well. All right, so that's the theme of the day. No major aspects, but we do have uh, the moon forming a partial T-square um, with Uranus and Venus. So the Uranus side of it, which may play more of a role the first part of the day, might have to do with if this reserved energy uh, may, might be feeling a bit restricted or if you're feeling like there's some spontaneous spontaneity that you want to incorporate into your life or into your day but it might be a bit restricted to do that or you feel like you need to break free of your current limitations um, listen to that the square to Uranus is a sort of clue from our from our higher self which is wanting spontaneity wanting change wanting more freedom 
to be our true self, to shape our life in a way that is a greater reflection of that spontaneous true self. But in the square, it does require that intention to do so in conscious and constructive ways. So setting the intention to do that, the first part, excellent with that square to Uranus. As the day unfolds, the moon then starts to square up to Venus and Venus is retrograde. So again, very important time to be just sort of reflecting on and reconsidering the whole relationship area. How are we relating? How's our relationships in our life? You know, this type of energy, good to be reflective on it, reconsidering it, learning about it. And so the second part, maybe just setting some intentions towards that again with the square. All right, what are some things we can do consciously, intentfully, maybe in relationships that does require a bit of intention or initiative or something like that, that we can uh, bring in some harmony, right? Venus is about connecting, is about reciprocity, give and take, mutuality. These types of things are great to set intentions with. But again, in the context of we're learning, it's good to be flexible. It's good to try new things as well with the relationship area and fundamentally about our values because Venus fundamentally is this now reflection on what we value in life. All right, so that's the day in a nutshell. Um, yep, most important thing is that the moon's gonna be shifting into Capricorn. We'll be going over the south node, so in the early part, there could be maybe some releasing taking place, maybe past life energy, things holding us back, um, past patterns, unhealthy patterns. It's nothing major, this happens once a month, but there is this sort of shift and maybe feeling a bit freer or liberated from some of these things holding us back. It's possible with the moon over south node. But as the day unfolds, yes, more of this Capricorn energy, good to develop the side of ourself that is responsible, is patient, is disciplined, and cultivating, cultivating anything that does require that. All right, so everyone have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all of your support as well. And I will see you all tomorrow for the Daily Forecast.